it's the open pacers squaring off mini me poised for another trip from an inside post tss poseidon back in the peter walsh barn he could be dangerous with a trip four star shark was reportedly sick after the haughton final and mcgardle won the haughton he is iron top and razor sharp they're off the favorite McCardle guns out with La Chance here. McCardle with the early speed. Mini Me from the inside. Also leaving alertly with TSS beside moving up third. And the others just fan out around the first turn. It's McCardle. McCardle to the top. Mini Me will rot his pocket. TSS beside him, uh, under a snug hold there in third for Sears. A uh, gap of uh, three lengths to four star Shark in the fourth position heading to the opening quarter. Master Sunez fifth, gap at three lengths to LCB six, followed by Sharky Spur and Daylon Trooper and Red River Hanover, 26 and two. Down the back stretch, McCardle now takes a breather down the back stretch. McCardle, mini me, wrestled back under a snug hole there in the second spot, right on the helmet. TSS Poseidon close up third. Four star Shark is fourth, the gapping somewhat, and Master Sunez is fifth there as. Uh, Sharky Spur starts up sixth on the outside and does flush Masterson A to the outside. Then it's LCB on the rail. At the back is Daylon Trooper and Red River Hanover, the half 55 and one. Big time breather for McCardle at four to five. McCardle now under some tippy taps there. Looks to uh, let it out a notch. Mini Me still under a stranglehold. Second perfect trip there. Masterson A first over, grinds into it and takes Sharky Spur into it. Second over, locked in TSS. Poseidon shuffled somewhat there. Four stars, Shark, stride for stride with uh, Daylon Trooper, tries to get into it from third over. McCardle is uh, turning it into a sprint here, 124 and two into the stretch now, and it's McCardle, the hot winner, leading it by two. McCardle with uh, on the outside, Master Sine on the inside. Mini Me is chasing from the pocket to the wire, and McCardle is strong. McCardle impressive here, and he is exploding late. McCardle home, 149 and four. He a 58 the second middle half, season. and it was all over but the shouting for McCardle, who uncorks the fastest final quarter in Meadowlands history, flying home in 25 and two. He's headed to Peretti Farms in Cream Ridge, New Jersey, for stallion duty at the end of the season, and he stamped him as the leader of the open pacing division. Driver Mike Lachance continues to be impressed. Tell us about McCardle. Uh, you've driven him quite a bit last year and this year. Uh, it's hard to imagine getting any better than he is right now. I, he's never he never been as good as he is right now. He's uh, sound and straight and relaxed and uh, his attitude is, uh, is at his best, yeah. You've driven a lot of great horses, three and four. Is uh, McCardle heading into that area where we can start using the word great and McCardle in the same sentence? Yes, yeah. You know, like he, uh, he surprised me like uh, his last three start. Uh, he's fast and he's uh, such a good-mannered horse. And ready for the U.S. Pacing Championship next week? I hope so. I hope 